What's up everybody and welcome back to 3G Video. Today we are at my last drag and drive of the season, the Southeast Street Neat here in uh, Shadyside, North Carolina. I am so excited. Drivers were already working on their cars last night getting ready for the racing action that's going to go down today. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Cars are starting to trickle into the tech lanes. We've got a couple of our racers right here. I'm excited to see what shows up today. Okay, look who just pulled in. We saw these guys at Rocky Mountain Race Week had the K swap in the truck. Now they said they changed some things. Oh, there we, go. Oh, there. we just added just simple stuff. We did a uh, bigger catch can, bigger intercooler, and now we got an actual blow up out. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Sick. The white Honda. They, uh, they kept it white. How Are you yeah. still happy with the white decision? Yeah, still happy with the white. It's staying pretty clean. So okay, good. We're pretty stoked with it. Good. Oh, my bad. I got cool. Good to see you guys. Good. This is awesome, man. <laughs> got more cars piling in. Got a couple of our trucks. We have the beautiful Nova, the couple Mustangs up there. All different generations of Mustangs. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's going to be a good week, guys. This thing's sick. Look at the uh, the bumper. He said that that's made out of a crane track. Like, uh, <laughs> that's really cool. And he's got other chains on the sides and on the base board. There's a lot of uh, little unique things on there that's sick. Got the Camaro, the Firebird, another Camaro first gen. Got a Marauder, and then uh, there's a Fox body back there behind it as well. Cars are really starting to roll through. Okay, so I hopped up in the pits, and these guys are trolling i love it love this car too so sick they even got a flag up here with devin uh the promoter's face on it there's a lot of cool cars here we're coming up through the pits i love this truck in fact they kept it long bed oh it's so cool we got a mustang over here another mustang they like their fox bodies down here that's for sure well, guys, we have a familiar car here. I was not expecting to see these guys out here at the street neat. That's awesome. I'm so excited to see them make some passes on 8th Mile down here in the Carolinas. I got talking to Bronson and uh, Goldstone, so got some more cars that have been filing in, getting ready. Uh, let's go down and check what's uh, in the tech lane real quick. We got a lot of cool stuff here. We have some, some familiar faces down here in the tech lanes. And it is kind of cool. It's interesting because uh, it's definitely uh, divided up and not as like hectic as some of the other events, which is really nice. Everybody's just kind of coming in at their own time, coming in and get tech. We still have cars rolling in, uh, even though we're a couple hours into tech already. So it's kind of nice. It's not that uh, stress of just got to get there, got to get there as fast as possible. It's kind of just like get here when we get here, get, get tech in. We're going to have a good day of racing. This is exciting. I right, know this thing is cool. It kind of reminds me of the being out of the salt flats and having the the hot rods and such okay so i haven't seen this car yet at a dragon drive and there's a good reason because you haven't brought it to one yet can you tell me a little bit about the car it's a 1933 plymouth on a model 2 frame um with chevy power okay so with the pro charger nice so you've done some drag racing with it before yes, just sir. never a dragon drive that's right so what have you done to kind of make it ready for a dragon drive situation um I had to do headlights and turn signals. I did not have turn signals, so I had to install turn signals and do a few other things. I just had the motor rebuilt, so we would be good to go for our whole, hitting it hard for four days. There you go, man. Well, it's definitely very unique. I'm excited to see you guys out on the road and awesome. uh, see it throughout the week. All right, thank you, sir. Have a good one, thank you. you. Appreciate it, man. These guys were putting the transmission in this car last night. You saw that uh, earlier. Awesome to see that they got it running down here to get through tech, get started with the day. Okay, so I wasn't expecting to see you guys here, which I'm super excited to see you here. Why Why are you here? So, 
Narc's pressured me, that's what it is. Oh, okay, it's Narc's well, okay. So we've had a good year, so we thought we'd come and try for this championship deal, so. Awesome. Uh, not gonna be easy, so we have to win, four second average, set the record for the class we're running, and uh, outrun Goldstone, that's gonna be the really hard part. So you're running two classes, uh, what, what are those two classes? So I'm running uh, Tiny Tire 235 and, and also running Unlimited. And that's gonna be that's gonna be a crazy race to watch this week. See, and you've got to make passes with two different tires, and then uh, also have to set all that. But yeah. good luck, have fun, and uh, we'll see how how it all pans out at the end. Thank you. Absolutely, man. Just finished up tire speed, and cars are going to be getting into the lanes. We're going to get started with some racing. Okay, guys, it's time to get some racing started. I'm going to be taking some pictures, getting uh, video for y'all. Uh, this is good. Getting started with that battle for the overall for the season. That's what we're going to tire to get things started off that is good enough to uh keep them in the range for uh getting that new record that's awesome Corvette having some issues Spots the 576 and an 822 with the Corvette but obviously having some issues there okay guys we have the beautiful red Nova and the C10 over there square body I guess. Let's see what they can put down here for their first pass of street needs. <laughs> and a 788 for the truck in the right lane. If you guys haven't noticed, this is all eight mile racing. So we'll be watching that today. We got a oh, I love it. 55 in the box. Also, look where the driver is. That's right hand drive. Mustang goes down to 808 and 847 for the 55 right hand drive. Okay, so I saw you make a pass earlier and I noticed this car's right hand drive. Tell me a little bit, what, what's the story here? Well, we, we we bought the car in Australia as a worn out car, it was in, imported from Arizona. Okay. Um, we rebuilt the car because you're restricted on how much you can drive it in Australia. So we uh, right hand drove it when, when, we, um, when we rebuilt it. Okay. And then I got transferred to the US in 2000 and bought it with us. Nice. And okay. by the way, that was the very first fastest cars ever made. Really? So yeah. Awesome, well congrats. It's well. still running. Good, good. <laughs> and uh, so this is your first drag and drive then, obviously. Yeah, yeah so. I've done sick, sick ward. Um, okay in florida with just, this just car or with, just cruising with this car okay. not racing it so cool we figured it was right nearby i live in greenville south carolina so uh, awesome man yeah. well glad to have you out and thank have you, fun man. on your first uh, dragon drive i appreciate it have a absolutely great week. thank you you too fox it goes down to 541 and six four or 783 in the right lane for the first game you excited for this week, dude? Dude, I'm so excited about this week. There's this is be... the one. This is the one. This is the final national level event of the year. It's it's insane. I mean, we got some good races too oh. for that top. I mean, it's not just like somebody took it all over. Yes. Like, yep. there's some potential for some big upsets. Yeah, this, this car here on the left side should do a big old wheelie. It's sick. Two in the left. Woo! Why not we're getting close to the center? 540 and a 7 
179 in the right lane. Nice. Shuts off 562 in the left lane to an 893 here in the right, but obviously having some issues. So, hopefully, they get that figured out. Come back around, and we'll see a good pass from them. I'm looking forward to see what this truck can put down. And then the Camaro over there, I'm pretty sure, is uh, fairly stout, so this should be a good pair. even with that okay shot. so i've heard you guys had some issues with the car we've seen you had a couple of the dragon drives this year what uh, what happened what? all right so yesterday well a few weeks ago went for testing and not just backfire took three pistons out cracked my block so new motor uh updated the transmission a little bit got trans brake now and came yesterday for testing and my fuel system something was whack so we took it home last night new fuel pump new fuel line found a little kink in the fuel line hopefully that was what was wrong and then tap my elbow on the spring and guess what i've got no shock in the back because the mount is broke so my husband was able to make a new one got that welded and we're back there you go Fingers crossed. well you made it so <laughs> good luck and have, yeah. have a good first pass thank you okay let's see if the fix is work see them come back around and make another pass but that uh, does open the door wow stuff out here okay this is a cool pair the truck that we saw earlier as he came in with all the uh, chains and stuff and then the old chevy i love it for the truck nice. all right so i saw this truck it's absolutely beautiful Thank you. tell me a little bit about the setup I know this is the truck's first event uh tell me what what you've done to it to get it ready for this and uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a complete new build uh it was built for drag and drive events uh, it's a 454 cubic inch dart uh custom rotating assembly by horsepower research rhs has that are ported uh it's a 4080 built by performer built transmissions and a 49 inch has ac power steering there you got the so, ac in it ac have to have ac especially being from south Louisiana. there you go yeah yep. cool dude so what's the color combo on it Did, is this custom paint or is this it, it is actually a factory color combination okay yes. wow well it just looks really good that's Thank for you. sure so 
Well, you did a good job. Hopefully, uh, we get to see you all week yes, ripping sir. this thing. And what, what's the goals for the week for you? Um, it should be in the six, six eighties. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, good luck. Have some fun. Enjoy it. Thank you. Awesome. So they apparently weren't happy with our first. Well, I ran up to get me some food here at the concessions. Got that good bologna sandwich. And of course, while I'm up here, car breaks an axle, slides around, hits the wall. That's unfortunate. Picking up the wheel and axle. Car's all the way down there. Crazy. He's out. He's okay. Uh, just uh, got the quarter panel a little bit back there where it did smack the wall. Unfortunately, you can see right by where, where he's standing right there, where he hit the wall with it. Wasn't going too terribly fast, but got some cleanup with all the oil coming out of the axle there. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Slid the wheel and axle back in there, uh, just so they can get it off the track. Now push her down. Wild. Okay guys, well it is that time we still have cars in the lanes. However, some of the cars are getting swapped over. I don't want to get out, get some photos, get some video of you, them on the road because you know, that's what we're all about here is the driving aspect of the drag and drive. So we're going to hit the road and there's a couple cool checkpoints today. I'm excited to go check one out, especially the first one. Uh, it's probably not everybody else's favorite, but we got to go see some trains. So I'm pretty stoked. So we still got some cars up here in the pits getting swapped over getting some things fixed got the second level of pits up there oh guys this is such a such a unique track having all the layered of pits and such kind of cool that car is gorgeous Got to the first checkpoint got a decent amount of cars hanging out here i actually get to see fall guys i didn't think i was going to see the uh trees in color but come far enough south and get to see it this is sick got a couple more cars pulling in route stop number one this is sick Okay guys, that's a really cool checkpoint uh, with the trees changing and everything, but time to get all back on the road. If I'm going to do a live stream, I got to get to the second checkpoint to be able to do that uh, so we can actually have cars there while we're there. So I'm going to hop up on the interstate to make some good time. We don't really have any routes, so I might see some people up there. I don't know who's uh, going which direction, but I'm going to hit it and get it. Okay guys, we got to the checkpoint. CPR uh, performance here. We got a lot of the cars hanging out. They even have a taco truck over there for all of the drivers to get food. That is so cool. Well, I'm gonna be getting onto a live stream. So if you haven't checked that out already, make sure you go uh, check out the live streams. Uh, have a lot of fun getting to do those. Um, anyways, but I'm gonna do that and I'll catch up with you guys here in just a minute. Okay guys, I got done with my live stream and I got me some food from the taco truck. It's just like tortillas and chicken and I'm excited to see how good it is. There's also an axe throwing thing set up and they're actually throwing axes. So that's cool. Oh, Laura missed. It's unfortunate. Nice. This is really cool. The uh, the culture of just everybody hanging out and actually doing route stops like I think they were intended to be. This is sick. 
Like all these guys have been here for at least half hour, 45 minutes, just hanging out. This is sick. Well, okay guys, we are at the track. I'm all cozied up getting this video out to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me, being here for the first day of Street Neat. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit a like on this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. As always, have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Okay, bye.